No go, don't be a dick. A big no-no for me is solo wanking. I've been at events where I hate it, like it's happened. So um, first of all, just read the plays. But respect everyone, respect everyone's privacy. Making assumptions, I think just making sure you check in with whoever you're interested in and yeah, just being respectful. A no-go for me would definitely be touching someone without their permission. Non-consensual touching. Main thing, don't touch or talk to people unwanted if they don't want it. Always ask first. Consent is sexy, as it you know, always, always is. Any kind of consent breaches, um, that when people look at you playing and wanking, please don't do that, that's really gross. People getting off on you not consenting. Get involved in your scene without being asked. Um, it's a complete boner killer um, and is never really wanted. I think eagle. Always ask before you do anything. Ego and arrogance and trying to show off those things just very annoying to see in someone when you're in a vulnerable or sexy space. Steampunk, that's just a personal dislike. <laughs> I, steampunk, I, 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 uh. Don't intrude on someone's scene, even if it looks fucking amazing and it looks so good. He's like, I want to jump in. Do not intrude. I've had a few times where People have touched me um, in inappropriate ways without my permission and it just ruins my night, to be quite honest. I've been at events where I hate it, like it's happened. It's just disgusting because it's, it's non-consensual. You've not asked anyone else if you can you know, participate by doing that. It's nice to make new friends, but of course we need to be mindful the way we behave and we approach people when we are um, in places like that because we want to feel safe and we don't want to be uh, bored by someone who is just approaching you with uh, our pages uh, behaviour. Or who have like been stepping into other spaces, it's like, no, 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 so definitely don't do that. That you're respectful of the fact that people are showing a side of themselves that doesn't normally get to come out. So don't be a dick. Any kind of leering, um, forcing people to drink drinks, um, spiking people. Uh, for me, it's um, excessive um, alcohol or drug use. Don't drink too much and don't take drug if it's your first time and you don't know how to control yourself. Uh, it's, it takes a lot of um, intelligence and wisdom to navigate our own sexuality and other people's and that becomes exponentially harder uh, when you don't have full control of yourself. It's quite important if you're into extreme kinks to think about trauma and how you can affect other people around you with the kinks that you're indulging in. First rule is consent, like just do never do anything without asking first, like you have to engage a conversation, it can be first eye contact, it can be something, use your body language, but go to people and share what you want, but also what they want, make sure that people are following you and that's probably the most important thing ever. If you're going to come into this space, respect what's going on and respect that the emotions and the things that people are showing are often quite fragile and delicate. So, no solo wanking. Yeah, just respect people's boundaries and don't be a cunt. Yeah, I'll say that. So, there was something else I was going to say as well. And this is my penis. <laughs> 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 You can blow it out. <laughs>